Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to make an object inside video glow. And that's even objects that are in motion. In this case, we're going with this lady's face. And what did, we, what did I start with? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the original shot. Everything is kind of bleak and dull and drab and no contrast, no glow, no lighting, nothing. Then we added in some glow to her face and then we just color corrected the background a little bit to make it a little bit more poppy. So how do you make something pop? How do you make it glow? I'm going to show you. Let's get going. All right, everybody. It's glow time. All right, let's get going. Step by step, I'm going to show you how we did it. Okay, here we go. Drag and drop some footage into the timeline, and then we're just going to take about two seconds of footage. Maybe, yeah, something like that. Two and a half seconds worth of it, just to show the effect. We don't need to watch me go through all the uh, motion tracking stuff here. Okay, so there we go. We've got some footage. Perfect. Next step, go ahead and click on that footage. Hold down the Alter Option key and push up. That makes a duplicate copy. Presto. Now the next step is make sure you're selected on the second, on the V2 track or the top copy. Go to the opacity under effect controls, opacity, click on that pen tool. We're going to now draw a mask and we're going to motion track it so that we the glow is always in the right spot. Click on that and now watch this mask. It's going to be probably not what you're expecting. You notice how I'm drawing the mask inside of her face a little bit, about a half inch or so in if I was to guess. I'm basically doing this because we're going to feather it hard. And when you feather it, what we want eventually is to have the inner part glow and, you know, really, really ruddy and glowish. And then it sort of fades out and feathers out to the edges um, like we did there in the part that I showed you. So something like that. Again, this isn't perfect, but I just want to show you the technique. All right. The next step is we're going to go ahead and motion track it. I'm going to click on this play button and it says track selected mask forward. I'm going to click it. And there we go. You'll see here that the mask is being applied in real time and it's moving with it. Now, yeah, something like that. Okay, it dips a little bit in, but that's okay. Um, there we go. Okay, good. So we've got that mask. Now, if that wasn't what you saw, what you need to do is you need to click on this wrench and make sure position scale and rotation is selected and also that there's a check mark beside preview. That allows you to view the mask in real time. Okay, good. Now let's just go back to the beginning. I'm going to click on this, the top piece or the top video. I'm going to go to window workspaces and I'm going to go switching from editing and I'm going to switch over to color. When you do that, it loads up the Lumetri color panel over here on the right side. Now what we want to do is we want to apply a glow to this. So that is generally a orangey or a little bit more of a ruddy tint. And I'm going to overdo it a little bit just to sell you on the effect and show you. So we've gone ahead and we've applied a orange glow to it. We're also going to increase the saturation a little bit because we're really going for it. And we're also going to increase the exposure to about 0.6. Yeah, that's a bit much. Okay, yes, maybe about 0.3. We don't want to go too far, right? Now, this isn't looking correct yet, and I understand that. Wait just one more second. I'm going to go down here to correction, and I'm also going to go ahead and sharpen it a little bit. We want to sharpen her face a little. Now, again, this does not look right, and I understand that. Let's go back to effect controls. And when we go back, click on the mask, and now this is how we dial it in. Watch this. You see how the mask feather is set to 10? Now watch. We're going to go ahead and push it right to the edges. So somewhere around there, maybe even, yeah, something like that. Let's push the feather out a little bit more and then click out. And now look, when I hit space bar, it's applied to her face. And you know it is because here's the original shot. Here's the new shot. And again, it's darker on the inside and then it gets feathered out and lightens out to the edges. And if I hit play, it is pretty much exactly where it needs to be. Now, if you want the face to pop even a little bit more, I'm going to click on the bottom one here, the bottom track, and I'm just going to go back into the Lumetri color basic correction, and I'm just going to drag down the color cast. So I'm going to just make it a little bit cooler so that it makes the orange glow that much more. Okay, so there we go. That is how you apply it. And if the isn't correct or if you think the top of the head maybe needs a little bit more for example you can click on the path and then you can just push it up just like this and it will go out to the edges and then you know if needed you can even go ahead and retract the mask so that you get the correct look but that's all you need to know that's how you make anything in video glow in just a few minutes thanks for watching ton more stuff coming up stay tuned